you guys it's story time and i'll be giving you guys a quick little vlog before i go into work today but i'll basically be just talking about where i came from what i done before i became this youtuber i'm just starting all over i had to start all over but i'm gonna get into that probably in this video or the next video i'm gonna just be quick with it um i'm from arkansas I'm originally from Little Rock, Arkansas, not Arkansas. I'm from Arkansas. Um, born and raised. I think I was about three years old when I moved there. So when I moved there, me, my mom, my, my brother, my two brothers, and then I got three sisters. My oldest sisters are Stacy, Letitia, and Latasha. And then my oldest brothers are Benson and David. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm um the baby on both sides. And basically, when we moved here in North Little Rock, I think it was kind of better because from where I was, it was real rough back then. We didn't have, like I say, everybody didn't have the things the Knicks had. Some might have the brand new Jordans. Some might have FUBUs, Feelers. From where I'm at, it's, it's really no opportunity really down here where I'm at. And that's why a lot of people venture off to go to different states to try to pursue their dream or their talent. But when my when we moved here, it was just me, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my two sisters, my two twin sisters, Tisha and Tasha. And we moved um, in an area called Washington Avenue. Um, from there, I can say my, my childhood was pretty straight. Like, you know, my mom and dad, they still together to this day, you know. Everybody don't have their parents. I understand that. I thank God that I still got both of mine. But long story short on them, when we moved here, they got married when I was like eight, nine. I say about eight because that's when I started playing basketball. My second sport I started playing. Softball was my first. I started that. And when, well, when I was like five years old, I started that when I was five. So from there, I ended up playing basketball when I turned eight and from there I've been playing basketball since then and when my mom and them got married you know like I say everybody relationship is not the best mine's not the best I know everybody's out there is not the best so like I say everybody hit their ups and downs mom and them go through things we all struggle we all struggle but we struggle in a different way and my struggle I ain't saying we was the richest and I ain't saying we was the poorest because, like I said, my mom, she kept two jobs. She kept two jobs. And I'm going to stress it. She kept two jobs to take care of four kids. My mama dropped out of school in the 11th grade because she had two twins at an early age. At 17, my mom had two twins. And she dropped out. And to this day, my mama went back to college and back to school to get her diploma and her, her uh, degree. Like I say, so, everybody didn't have the things the Knicks had. Some might have the brand new Jordans. Some might have FUBUs, Feelers. I didn't have Jordans. I'm not a fan of Jordans. I like them. They pretty. I'm not a big fan of Jordan. It's too much following. It's, it's so much following. It, it just really don't make sense. But all about myself, I'm saying me personally, I'm not a big fan of Jordans. I was more of a Nike, Air Force One person because, like I said, I played ball. From there, I played ball, ran track. I played, like I say, softball. I did volleyball, flag football with boys. It wasn't no girls. And like I say, I grew up having what I wanted because I did not want everything. I did not want what the Knicks had because the Knicks had it. I, did, I was not that type of child. So my mom got me whatever I asked for because it wasn't out of her budget and it wasn't out of the way of the next person having it because of the next person having it. She, she didn't believe in me going to get or none of her kids going to get, you know, what the next person had. My mama always kept us clean. My mama, that's one thing I can say. She kept us clean, fresh, and the latest, whatever. It just wasn't no Jordans. I'm going to get to that. It wasn't no Jordans. My brother, now he was more of a Jordan person. He Jordan. He more of a designer person. Y'all will get to meet my family here pretty soon. I'm going to end up making another family channel. I, like I say, I had all these channels and 
for some reason when I ended up moving and everything, like I say we not perfect. A lot of stuff got destroyed, stolen. A lot of stuff didn't happen. So when, like I say, when I was about eight, growing on up into middle school and high school, them was like my best years, like in middle school. I can say really like, them was like really my best years because like I did a lot of sports. Like I was never home almost. Like it was like, I didn't really have friends, but I did have friends. It was like, I was that popular person, but the quiet popular to where I did not have to hang with everybody. I did not have to be with everybody to be seen or none of that. People knew me because of me. It's because of me. I, I brought the light to the party. I brought the party out. It's like I was the goofy one. I'm still that person. So at the end of the day, like I say, my middle school was 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 my best. Then it got into high school. By the time I got into ninth, tenth grade, I stopped playing sports. I stopped playing sports. I was focusing on, like I say, modeling. I ended up focusing on me just doing like fashion, just into fashion. Some told me, you know, come up at this this tomboy stage a little bit and get into modeling. Y'all will see a couple of those photos or whatever. I'm going to get into some of those eventually too. My videos, I'm going to get into some of those about my modeling career that I just started doing. And I kind of slowed down on it because it's been hard on getting gigs since this virus and, and all this stuff going on right now. So by the time I say I was about 18, no, 16, I was 16. Mom and them dad, they disagreed. So I, I got put out as a normal teenager would get put out just to show me how, who tough and who um the boss. So I had learned my lesson. I ended up moving with my friend and her mother. Her mother took me in, my best friend. I'm gonna still, still say she my best friend. Even though we don't speak, we don't have to speak or call each other or have each other number or nothing. If I see you, hey, we that's how we roll. And I still, to this day, gonna call her my best friend or a friend of mine. And her mom took me in. And from there, about 16, I ended up moving with them. It was like a few months. Uh, it wasn't so long. It was like a few months. And um, my first job, that's when I ended up applying. She took me and her to apply for uh, first job. My first job was Burger King. I'll never forget it was Burger King. I did the application. She did the application. And from there, I'm thinking like, you know, we both finna get the job. I got the phone call to come work. She didn't. So she was upset. And I told her, look, I'm gonna try to talk to the manager and see what we can do. But I didn't stay at Burger King so long because I ended up going to a nursing home when I was like 18. By the time I turned 18, that's when I had my first child. I was still in school. Mind y'all, I was still in high school going to school i was still going to school while i was staying with her i made they, her mama made sure we ended up going to school because we caught the bus together so we made sure we went to school i was still working and from there i had ended up leaving by the time i was like going on 18 i ended up moving with my grandma next door to my mama when we moved to washington i had ended up moving with my grandma and come to find out you know, I wasn't having, you know, sex or anything until I was literally 17 and a half. I have y'all want to put that 17 and a half. I was almost 18 years old. And that's when I first had my sexual intercourse. And like I say, they say, you do it once, it can happen to you. So with that being said, I used protection. I was still going to school. I still was working. Then nothing really stopped me. So in my mind, I was just like, dang, I want to quit school so bad. So bad. It's just I don't want to be that teenager that's pregnant in school like the rest of these girls was. I wasn't planning on doing it. You know, I wasn't even into my mind frame, wasn't even ready for none of that. So my mind had to get like that in order to be ready to be a mother to a child because I'm already still a child. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up growing up. And I became that mature woman. My grandma ended up, you know, taking me to do a um, application for my first apartment. And y'all, when I say I wasn't even there a whole month, because I do, like I say, I do not like bugs or anything. The neighbor, 
they 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 had a little bug problems and they got to coming into my apartment and boop i paid them their rent and i left and went back to my grandma house so by the time my grandma she had like she had the house she was staying in and then another house she had already paid off and everything so it was just her house and then another house she had she rented it out to like us family members so she told me she was like hey quita i got the, the house over there for rent you know when your cousin them move out you can move in once they clean up and everything and like and she really changed my life from there and that was me having my first house at 18 you know renting or not you know what i'm saying upstairs i had a five bedroom upstairs two bath um by the time then i ended up moving you know me and my son dad we was together and i ended up leaving him alone i say six years six years because like we was dating since high school well yeah no middle school we was dating since middle school and eventually we ended up still being together and turn around like it was so much and i was getting older and i was focusing on just my son and working and trying to finish school which i still had to go back the following semester that's how i ended up graduating like a little later than what my class was, I was supposed to be graduating with my class. So long story short on that, I ended up going back to school, getting my diploma after I had my baby, still had my job, ended up still at the nursing home. That's how I ended up with two jobs at another nursing home, um, working two jobs after I finished my school to take care of my son. And I decided to go back to college and so that's what I did like in 2011, I'm going to say. 2011, I decided to go back to school for medical because I was so much into, you know, the medical field and taking care of older people or taking care of people they self. Like I say, everybody life not perfect, everybody not perfect. I went from 100 to zero instantly. So I fell victim to, to depression, I'm going to say, because it took a toll on me. But then I ended up meeting a guy at work. You know, my mom, he, she already knew him because she was already working at the nursing home way before I even started at the nursing home. I ended up at the job where my mom was. So it was my mom, auntie, and then her little friends. And finally met him. I was like 21, 22. And I finally met him. That's how I ended up with my two girls I got today. My two girls, Ja'Kaya and Ja'Koya. My oldest boy is Jacoby. Then I got Jakaya and then Jacoya. They ended up coming into the a picture in 2011 and 13. By the time I was getting ready to, I, by the time I got pregnant with my third one, I was getting ready to be married. Be married. I was like, I'll say I was about 24. I was 24 when I first got married. You know, everybody, you know, relationship is not perfect. Like I say. No, I'm not married today. So by the time then, in 2014, like my long lost little friend, like long lost friend, y'all, like y'all would understand unless y'all been through it. So it's, it's my friend. He he came back around when I finally decided to move out and leave my husband, get a divorce and everything. I ended up going to find another apartment i said to myself i was not gonna get another apartment because i i was in fear of bugs and all this nuts out noise i want my own privacy so i ended up getting approved for the apartment like i said we i'm going through some things i was going through some things like i said me and my dad and then we all got back on good terms me and my mom and them and from there when i got my apartment in 2013 I, like i said i had three kids at the time I got them three and we moved, got in that little apartment. It was so clean, y'all, and to where I didn't even have to have no inspection. It was never no inspection for me. That's how clean I kept it. That's how clean it was. And I, like I say, it was so clean. And by the time I finally seen him again in 2014, I got my apartment at 13. I've been there a whole year already and a half. And that's when I seen him. We bond is so quick y'all it's like my best friend came back into my life from childhood in diapers like and it's like love at first sight all over again because he was my best friend like told each other everything we done everything y'all when i say pokemon 
or in the game Pokemon, the cards. That was my, that was my game. That was my shit. The cards, the action figures. That was his his thing too. So we bonded. We got together. It wasn't no rush to get together. Cause like I told him, I just got out of a situation. I wasn't trying to rush it. You know, he made my life complete. He's like my backbone. And I'm like his, you know, spinal cord. <laughs> if that even makes sense, you know. But we turn around, you know, end up having my last baby, my fourth one. Just shy. We call him Thuka. I ended up having him in 17, 2017. He's my baby. He forever be my baby. He ain't going nowhere. So, really, I just been maintaining the lifestyle I've been maintaining way before I started YouTube. And like I say, about time, way before I had my son, my last son in 2017, that's when I had a truck. I had a Dodge Ram 1500 truck. And it got broken into. Somehow, that's why I say I do not like apartments. And my truck got broken into. And from there, when I, everything Everything got got stolen. When I say everything, I was supposed to be getting it out of the vehicle that night or well, that evening and turned around and went in the house and fell asleep. Didn't think nothing about it. Didn't think really nothing about none of it. My camera, my tripod, my GoPro. It's a lot of stuff I got to start all over with. Since that, since that time of being, you know, robbed out of my stuff. So now... I'm really just starting all over, you guys, and it it really, it really drove me to start over because I, I've been waiting so long to do it back then, and I started it, and now I had to change everything, my name, delete that account, I had to delete everything that was possible to delete at the time of that happening. I had to, I had to call so much stuff. It, it made my head hurt. So that's why I wasn't in a rush to start them back. I said I'm going to start with just small stuff at the time right now. Because I don't want to go through that no more. Um, which I'm not saying, you know, I am or I can't go through it no more. I don't wish that on nobody to go through, you know, robbery or anything. You feel me? So I try to shout out to all YouTubers and the support of, you know, each other. Because I don't, I don't want to see nobody haven't had their stuff stolen after they done worked so hard for it into doing it. But enough about me, you guys. I guess I'll go in and clock in for work and I'll keep basis with you guys. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys later.